This video demonstrates how to configure the intrusion prevention function on the Wall 1600 Z S Series Cloud Managed Firewall and check the protection effect. Intrusion Prevention System IPS, is a security defense technology that analyzes network traffic in real time to detect malicious attack traffic. Upon identifying such traffic, it promptly generates alarms or blocks the traffic to protect the internet. Typically, IPS is deployed at the network edge to defend against intrusions. Depending on policy settings, the device can enforce intrusion prevention in one to LAN and LAN to one directions. Now, let's delve into the working principles of intrusion prevention. The firewall provides an IPS signature library that contains over 5,000 security rules. A security rule defines the characteristics of intrusion behaviors. By extracting and matching packet characteristics against the intrusion behaviors, the firewall can identify and block attack packets and permit normal packets to pass through. Here's how the intrusion prevention detection mechanism operates. After packets arrive at the firewall, it filters out illegitimate packets based on security policies and forwards legitimate packets to the intrusion prevention module for in-depth detection. The intrusion prevention module matches the packets against security rules. If a packet matches a security rule, the intrusion prevention module processes the packet according to the action in the rule or the action set in the security policy. If the packet does not match any security rule, the module considers the packet a normal service packet. By default, the device provides an initial IPS signature library, which cannot be upgraded. To upgrade the IPS signature library, purchase and activate an IPS license. After the license expires, the intrusion prevention function can work normally based on the existing signature library, but the signature library version cannot be upgraded. To ensure high detection accuracy, upgrade the signature library regularly. To upgrade the signature library, choose System Signature Library Upgrade. To view the license activation status and validity period, choose System a System Config Authorization Management. Let's go through the process of configuring the intrusion prevention function in a typical networking environment. As shown in the figure, the enterprise internet connects to the internet through the firewall, and a web server is provided for internet users to access. The intrusion prevention function is required to block various injection attacks that are initiated by extranet users and targeted on the internet server. Log into the firewall web UI, choose object content template intrusion prevention, and click the predefined template tab. The device provides multiple predefined IPS templates, meeting various protection requirements in typical application scenarios. Further, you can directly reference predefined IPS templates in security policies to detect and filter traffic. In this example, only injection attacks need to be detected and blocked. Let's move forward to configure a custom template that will specifically target this type of traffic. Click the Custom Template tab. Click Create. On the Add Intrusion Prevention Template page, perform the following steps. Enter the template name, for example, Detecting Underscore Injection Underscore Attacks. The following special characters are not allowed. Enter a description to specify the function of the template, for example, detect whether the web server is attacked by injection. Click Create to add a rule filter. Enter the rule filter name. You are advised to enter a name that clearly describes the function of the filter. For example, detect underscore injection underscore attacks. Set object to server to enable intrusion prevention for intrusions targeted on servers. Set severity to all to match security rules of all severity levels. If protocol is not set, traffic of all protocols is detected. Set threat type to injection attack to detect only injection attack traffic. Click confirm to return to the add intrusion prevention template page. Click advanced settings and set excluded rules.
Verify that the configuration is correct and click Save. Click the Advanced Settings tab. The IPS technology of the device supports block list linkage. If block list linkage is enabled, a temporary block list is automatically generated when traffic matches a brute force IPS policy. If subsequent traffic matches the temporary block list, it is directly blocked without intrusion prevention detection. In this example, the block list linkage function is disabled. Now, let's see how to configure a security policy. Choose Policy as Security Policy. Click Create. In the dialog box that is displayed, you can choose to directly add a security policy or enter the simulation space to add a security policy. Here, a security policy is directly added. Click Create in the dialog box. The Create Security Policy page is displayed. Enter the name of a security policy, for example, policy underscore IPS. The following special characters are not allowed. The policy is enabled by default. If it is disabled, the policy does not take effect. Select the policy group to which the policy belongs. You can group policies to facilitate management. Configure the policy location. A policy closer to the top has a higher matching priority. Enter a description to specify the function of the security policy. For example, detect whether injection attacks are included in the traffic of accessing internal web servers from external networks. Set the source security zone to untrust. Source address to any user or user group to any destination security zone to DMZ destination address to the IP address of the internet web server 192.168.2.0 slash 24 and both service and application to any If the time range is set to any, the configuration takes effect permanently. Click Add One-Off Time Plan or Add Cyclic Time Plan to add a time range. Set the action to permit to permit the traffic from the internet to the internet web server. Enable Intrusion Prevention, select the template detecting underscore injection underscore attacks, and set the action to block. Disable the other functions under Content Security. Verify that the configuration is correct and click Save. After the security policy is delivered, you can verify the configuration effect in the following two ways. On the Security Policy Overview page, view the number of times a security policy is hit and the session hit information. Choose Monitor Log Monitoring the Security Log. Click Search Criteria. Set the Source Security Zone to Untrust. Destination Security Zone to DMZ. Attack Type to Injection Attack. And Log Type to Intrusion Prevention. Then click search to view the protection effect of the intrusion prevention template.